Hippopotamus. Hippos may look like giant, bumbling things, but they are often considered Africa's most dangerous mammal. They're territorial, unpredictable, and armed with a mouthful of teeth sharp and strong enough to do lethal damage. If their territory is encroached, whether that be by a crocodile, another hippo, or boat full of tourists, they will aggressively defend their space. When hippos attack, they do so with canine teeth nearly two feet long at a pressure of 2,000 pounds per square inch. As if that weren't enough reason to steer clear, hippos sweat a red liquid that looks like blood, securing their title as most metal animal on the planet. Where to find them? Their natural environment is the rivers and lakes of sub-Saharan Africa, though they've also made their way to Colombia. 14. Box jellyfish, often found floating, or very slowly moving at speeds close to 5 miles per hour. In Indo-Pacific waters, these transparent, nearly invisible invertebrates are considered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to be the most venomous marine animal in the world. Their namesake cubic frames contain up to 15 tentacles that can grow up to 10 feet long. While antivenoms do exist, the venom is so potent that many human victims have been known to go into shock and drown or die of heart failure before reaching shore. For those who are lucky enough to make it to the hospital and receive the antidote, survivors can sometimes experience considerable pain for weeks afterward and are often left with nasty scars from the creature's tentacles. Where to find them? Box jellyfish float off the northern coast of Australia up to the Philippines. 13. Cone Snail Found in the warm waters in the tropics, these beautiful creatures, instantly recognizable for their highly prized brown and white marbled shells, can be seen in shallow depths closer to shore, near coral reefs and rock formations, and beneath sandy shoals. But do not dare to touch the four to six inch long gastropods. Their concealed, harpoon-like teeth contain a complex venom known as a canoticsin, making them one of the most venomous species of snails. Only a handful of people have ever been stung, but, quite unfortunately, there is no antivenom. The toxin stops nerve cells from communicating with one another, so the creature not only causes paralysis within moments, but, per its nickname of cigarette snail, affords you about enough time to smoke a stick before you die. Where to find them? Cone snails live in the waters surrounding Caribbean islands, Hawaii, and Indonesia. 12. Golden Poison Dart Frog Poison darts are a large, diverse group of brightly colored frogs, of which only a handful of species are particularly dangerous to humans. The most deadly, the golden poison dart, inhabits the small range of rainforests along Colombia's Pacific coast and grows to around two inches long. Its poison, called batrachotoxin, is so potent that there's enough in one frog to kill ten grown men, with only two micrograms, roughly the amount that would fit onto the head of a pin, able to kill a single individual. But what makes the amphibian especially dangerous is that its poison glands are located beneath its skin, meaning a mere touch will cause trouble. Little wonder the indigenous Embura people have laced the tips of their hunting blow darts with the frog's toxin for centuries. Sadly, deforestation has landed the frog on several endangered lists. But if you're lucky enough for a rare sighting when hiking, don't go reaching for it. Where to find them? Golden poison dart frogs are only found in the rainforests of Colombia. 11. Cape Buffalo Cape Buffalo, which number around 900,000 in the wild are a relatively mild species when left alone, preferring to travel in massive herds as they graze in early morning and late afternoon hours, or gather around watering holes. However, if an individual is threatened or wounded, they become the incarnation of their nickname, Black Death, reportedly responsible for killing more hunters on the African continent than any other creature. These behemoths, which can grow up to nearly six feet tall and weigh close to a ton, circle and stalk their prey before charging at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. They're even known to continue charging when injured, and will not hesitate to attack moving vehicles. Suffice to say, you don't want to mess with those horns. Where to find them? The sub-Saharan Africa, including the Maasai Mara in Kenya, is home to Cape Buffalo. 10. Indian Saw-Scaled Viper While plenty of snake species pack enough venom to bring down a human, not all of them take the multifaceted approach of the Indian Saw-Scaled Viper, sometimes called the Little Indian Viper or the Saw-Scaled Viper. These reptiles live in some of the most populated areas of the region they occupy, which stretches well beyond India. They remain inconspicuous, though, by using their natural camouflage to blend into desert surroundings. Because they are typically active at night, it's best to listen for their defensive sizzling sound. This comes from a behavior called stridulation, in which the snake forms coils and rubs its scales together. Even with a warning, saw-scaled vipers are extremely aggressive, with more than double a lethal dose into each bite. Where to find them? The home of the Indian saw-scaled viper stretches into the Middle East, Central Asia, and across the Indian subcontinent. 